It's Peps. Hello, legends and hello, superstars. Let's get into some cracking games of footy with my round 18 tips for a massive round of AFL. And it's all kicking off. Tomorrow night at the MCG, the home of AFL football, Collingwood versus Geelong, Friday, 7.40 p.m. Well, you could talk about two teams at the moment that are going in opposite directions when it comes to the AFL ladder. Geelong were brilliant last week against the Hawks, and Collingwood, they staggered against a mighty Essendon Bombers. And with my check out this week, I honestly think that Geelong are going to win this. But if I could put it this way, I don't think that the Collingwood forward line are going to be causing too many nightmares for the Geelong backmen this evening when they roll into the game tomorrow. So I'm saying Geelong will win this, and I think they'll win this one quite comfortably. I'm going probably four goals, cementing their top eight position, hopefully for the boys in the hoops a top four, and one step for Collingwood going from Premier's to early footy trip attendees. Right here, Saturday, 1.45 p.m. at Utah. We know who it is. It's got to be the Hawks against Frio. The longest road trip in football is anybody traveling from WA down to the land of the Golden Isle. And we love it down there at Tasmania. They have great footballers, beautiful beer, sensational golf courses, and Hawthorne love to take it out. Now, I think Hawthorne, are a massive chance to cause an upset. Fremantle have been riding away with success over the last number of weeks. But I do think the Hawks are a massive chance to take this one out. It's cold, it's freezing, but they are playing some heated football and they'll be devastated after their loss last week. And I'm tipping the Hawks to win this one in the close one by less than a goal. It's not going to put too much of a dampener for Fremantle, but I wouldn't be surprised if this was a 50-50 and they turned around and win that one as they head into the week after against the Ds. Rightio, Saturday 1.45. At the same time, you've got to choose what game you're going to watch. Is it going to be the UTAS or is it going to be the SCG? Sydney versus the North Melbourne Football Club. One team won, one team lost. But unfortunately, it was the other way around. Sydney, their second loss in a row, a narrow one to St Kilda. And North Melbourne, wow, didn't they pull a number on the Gold Coast Suns, who are putrid away from home. I don't think this one's going to be much of a challenge. We know how Isaac Heaney probably won't be playing due to his uh, suspension earlier in the week, which... Let's be honest, it was an absolute farce. He doesn't deserve a week, doesn't deserve to be rolled out for the Brownlow when similar incidents like that being, uh, let's just say, missed by the AFL people in charge. North Melbourne, they were great last week. They're not going to beat Sydney. They're going to be too strong at home. I reckon this might get a little bit ugly towards the back end, especially if Sydney's misfiring forward line tend to pick up, which they haven't over the last couple of weeks. I'm tipping eight goals to Sydney. North Melbourne, it's a loss that they're going to need. It's not going to be too much of a dampener for them, but they have been playing great footy over the last six weeks, but you're playing a team in a different calibre and they're going to win that one. Right, yeah, here's a cracker of a game. Saturday, 4.35 p.m. at Marvel Stadium. Western Bulldogs versus Carlton. How disappointing with the Bulldogs last week against Port Adelaide. I picked them and they got pumped. And Carlton, well, Carlton are just doing Carlton things at the moment and they are beautiful. And I just think that with the Western Bulldogs... Still, they've got a few players out. They're not functioning as well as they are. Norton won't be there. Carlton are virtually at full strength, and they're going to win this one. They're both tenants of the Marvel Stadium. They are superheroes when they get on that deck. But Carlton is going to be way too strong, and I'm expecting Charlie Kerno to kick a bit of a bag this weekend. I'm tipping four, and at the other end, I'm hoping Sam Darcy kicks his three or four as well too. But Carlton... Like I said, probably a four to five goal win over this one. I think the Western Bulldogs will be tight for a while. They'll want to come back after their putrid performance against Port Adelaide last week. But I think they're going to be a little bit too strong, Carlton, and they'll take that one away. Righto, this is an interesting game. Adelaide versus St. Kilda, 7.30 p.m. at the Adelaide Oval. Adelaide, interesting what they rolled out last week. Very, very stiff to lose to the Brisbane Lions. And St. Kilda, how good were they? Could they do this two weeks in a row? A couple of weeks ago, I tipped Adelaide to lose a game. I came out and won that one. It was a surprising game. So I'm thinking Adelaide at the Adelaide Oval. They're a little bit like the Brisbane Lions. They're not too bad at home. Putrid away. So I'm going to go with the Adelaide Crows to win this one. St Kilda, don't trust them at all, to be honest. They did play really well last week, but this is a different, different team uh, in terms of Adelaide. They're going to, have to play a different style. I don't know what Roscoe has got planned, but I just think Adelaide by two goals. This could be a fitty-fitty but it might be uh, just the game that Adelaide need to give Knicks a little bit of a um, pump in the tires because he isn't that bad of a coach. Uh, they haven't performed at all well this year, but then I've just realized that Rankin's not playing. 
So I'm going to go with St. Kilda. Right here, Melbourne versus Essendon. This is probably one of the top eight games that we're going to be uh, looking over this weekend. Once I top eight, top eight point shifts. Essendon, they win. They can not just consolidate a top eight spot. They are going to be playing potentially top four footy. And if Melbourne get this one, which I don't think that they will, they could be t potentially jumping into that top eight spot, which a lot of people have doubted with Gore not being there, with Petrarca not being there, no Brayshaw for the entire season. They've been going okay and going a little bit, but their form last week against West Coast was really good. But can they do it against a really highly defensive team? Uh, and we don't usually say that about Essendon. Ameris been awesome. Corbell's been fantastic. The forward line's been doing great things. Ridley down back for the uh, for the Essendon uh, Bombers has been uh, an exceptional matchup. I'm really looking forward to Melbourne's back line versus the forward line of uh, the Bombers. I reckon that's going to be a nice little um, nice little shaper. And it's going to be interesting to see what type of mix Melbourne will go with as well. But I'm picking Essendon in a real close one. This could be less than a goal, but it could be a 50-50 game. i you just going with Essendon just on the way the teams are playing at the moment. And I've probably just got a little bit more faith in what they're going to be able to deliver. So I'm going with the Essendon Bombers to beat the Ds by less than a goal. Rightio. Three more games to cover, and they're the Sunday games. Gold Coast versus Port. Sunday when 10 p.m. at uh, Carrara Stadium. Simple as this. Where's it being played? Gold Coast. Who's going to win? Gold Coast. I know we probably say Port after their great response last week against the Doggies, but they're playing away. They're putrid away. Gold Coast, completely different up there. They'll win. This will be a, probably a four-goal win to Gold Coast. Um, and we're going to move on to the next one. Right, Richmond GWS. GWS, great win against Carlton last week. And Richmond, well, just not good whatsoever. They're not going to be too good against the GWS at the MCG. And that's why GWS will win this one quite easily. Uh, Toby Green, he has to have a good one. He hasn't had a great game for quite a while. And when I say great game, I'm talking a bag. He hasn't had a bag. Jesse Hogan's been doing his bit. The midfield have been doing their bit. They've still got no Sam Taylor, and they're still going all right. They need to win this game to keep their chances of a top eight victory still in their sight. So I'm going with GWS, five goals, and we're going over the last game. West Coast Eagles versus the Brisbane Lions. West Coast Eagles, they got rid of Simpson. They're bringing in their new coach, I think it's Schofield, for their first game, 4.40 p.m. off the stadium game. It might be the graveyard shift, but nobody will be left dying to see what type of West Coast team is going to turn up. How are the magnets going to be spun? Who's going to be playing where? It's going to be a fascinating read. And the Brisbane Lions, once again, they got across the road against the Adelaide Crows last week. They had to do what they did. And I think that they will win this one, but I don't think it'll be as much of a blowout as we think. Probably four to five goals at the most. I hope that West Coast can redeem themselves. Give Adam Simpson the, the farewell that he deserves. He is a premiership coach. They did treat him really barely over the last 18 months, and he deserves to go out with a smile on his face, and so did the supporters with a potential victory. But I think Brisbane are going to be too strong for them. Rightio. So there you go. There's our round 18 tips for a massive round of AFL football. Just how you like it, tipped out. Make sure if you like our tips every single week, Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell so you get this awesome content delivered to you without having to lift a finger.